Hello friends, this is Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming and welcome to another video for Path of Exile Synthesis League 3.6. Today I'm going to be talking about a new character. I'm kind of benching my Ice Trapper for now and I'm going to move on to something new. And this is actually a Blight character. And my reasoning for this, I know there have been a lot of Chaos builds that have been popular, but I think Blight may have access to more, more damage than any other build. And I want to try and see how much uh, more damage I can stack. So we are going to try to do that with this build. Uh, so far, kind of a beginning start for it. But uh, currently we have it on a 5 link with uh, Blight, Infused Channeling, Controlled Destruction, Efficacy, and Void Manipulation. Uh, the Infused Channeling is a great addition. Blight just had its base damage buffed and for those of you who don't know how more multipliers work basically they're multiplicative damage so you take any increased damage and uh, that is what it is initially increased by and then you multiply it by any more damage the things like crit multi are more damage multipliers as well anything that says a multiplier such as non-ailment chaos damage over time multiplier. I'm going to want a bit higher on this when I get to the point where I can craft that or buy a better one. But the idea is that we're going to have at least 10, if not 11 or 12 more multipliers. So the way we're going to do this is we are going to uh, have blight with all of these. So we're going to have a total of five links with more damage. We're going to add swift affliction at some point. And then that would be five to start with. Then we'll have Malevolence here, that's six. We're gonna have our Arcane Surge, which is a seventh more multiplier. Our eighth more multiplier is going to be uh, the non-chaos damage over time multiplier, or non-ailment chaos damage over time multiplier. Our ninth one, is going to be minus chaos resist which is functionally a more multiplier we're going to achieve this through the void beacon as well as our witch fire brew which gives an aoe to spare curse which is very powerful so we're going to greatly reduce the or greatly reduce the chaos resistance of enemies and then our tenth one is actually going to be when we get it running pain attunement all right, number 11 is going to be Shocked Ground, which we're going to achieve through Vol Lightning Trap. And then our 12th one, I should have counted these out first, our 12th and final more multiplier is going to be Frenzy Charges, which we're probably going to end up having to do with uh, Vol Cold Snap, but there may be other ways that we're going to do this. So that's 12 more multipliers, and then on top of that, the Chaos Damage available is pretty high. We have all of the... Uh, the ones with the non-ailment chaos damage over time multiplier here. Uh, we have a decent amount all over the tree. And then we also have the very juicy channeling nodes and the spell damage nodes. So we do have a good amount here. Uh, of course, area damage will scale as well. So our base damage is going to be quite high. Uh, as far as defenses, we're not going to worry that much about defenses. The goal for this character is not to be... Uh, it's kind of going to be a, a little bit of a glass cannon, and I'll kind of show off uh, what it's capable of at the moment. I mean, we have our Freeze Immune with, uh, with Dream Fragments, and then we have our Stun Immune with Vile Bastion. Uh, but we do not have, we still do take chaos damage and our life pool is rather small. So things like Poison and Consecrated Ground, that kind of thing will definitely wreck us. Uh, but I'm just going to go over my gear actually really quick. Um, this wand is okay. I definitely want to increase the non-ailment chaos damage over time multiplier once I've done more betrayal and get the craft up for that. Uh, the helmet's not that great. Definitely needs replacing. Uh, pretty low energy shield roll. The life is going to be less relevant later on, hopefully. Uh, I have the shield which is actually decent uh it's got a lot of resist it isn't that high of energy shield but it does have 52 spell damage and since we're going kind of glass cannon that might be a little better for us uh, we have this energy shield cast speed mono regen and strength amber amulet which is pretty nice uh, evasion rating is not really relevant but the rest is pretty solid uh, i have this ring uh Decide to craft 13% faster start of energy shield recharge onto it. 
pretty decent. We got our Dream Fragments for the fr Freeze Immune and the Chill Immune. Uh, kind of helps out with our Cold Resist as well. We have these Boots, which are 25% move speed, some resists, and an okay amount of Energy Shield. Haven't crafted anything onto them yet. Actually, I don't even know if I can. No, I can't because of the Hybrid, so that's it. Still using a Bated Breath. I have a Crystal Belt that I plan on trying to craft. I might just buy a good Crystal Belt as well. Not really sure. Um, and then we have these fingerless silk gloves, which have relatively high energy shield for gloves. And then they have some life and some resists. So we have our resists all sorted out. We don't have that high of energy shield yet. We have a lot of nodes to get on the tree. We're going to head down to uh, Foresight next. We have to get these energy shield nodes. And then I'm probably going to pick up these here as well to get the energy shield recharge rate. So have quite a lot of energy shield to pick up on the tree. And we have some other options for more spell damage as well. We could get Arcane Swiftness, for instance. So that is an option. We can also swing over to Arcane Guarding and kind of supplement our energy shield a little bit more through these two nodes, getting the additional increased energy shield from Equipped Shield, a total of 100%. So that might help us out as well. But all in all, not too bad of a start. Uh, the plan is currently, I think I'm going to be aiming for about 2.5 million with full stacks of Blight. I'm just going to pop into a beach here because I like running beach for my low level characters. Just throw a random elk onto it, just run it as is. And we're currently level 72. Just show you what this build is currently capable of. Uh, my plan is, once I get about 6k energy shield, I'm going to throw Discipline onto Blood Magic. And that should drastically increase it. Looks like... there we go. Gotta make sure we gotta keep our Witchfire Brew up. It's pretty, pretty quick. Most of the white mobs you can kinda just put down for a second. Takes a little bit of getting used to, you just kind of tap it, and then you can hold it for a bit longer against other mobs. Oh yeah, we also have Wither Totems. Uh, great thing about Wither Totems currently is there is the uh, multiple totem support, which allows you to place up to three of them, which stacks your Wither quite fast, especially with the, uh, with the Threshold Jewel for Blight, which we have two of. And those, uh, we might take out, we'll see. We'll see. We, we have other ways of getting weather stacks very quickly now, so we might ne not need that. And might just prefer a uh, jewel with some cast speed and damage over time, and maybe even some non-ailment damage over time, non-ailment chaos damage over time multiplier, which is a mouthful. Ugh. But that is pretty much the playstyle. I mean... It's st fairly safe because we are an occultist. Once we get a lot more energy shield, uh, we're going to aim for a Chevron's Wrapping. Those are very expensive at the moment, and I can't really afford them because I've been gearing about five or six different characters. So I've been blowing through the money instead of just focusing on one character and earning currency. But that is how I am. I am an Ultaholic, so... Go through, finish this. I like to pretty much full clear these if possible. Even blue mobs tend to just take one tap from the blight. It's quite a lot of damage now for this stage in the game. Uh, we're on a level 17 blight only, and it's only on a, a 5 socket, so it's not exactly a powerhouse just yet. Alright, good enough. Grab some of this stuff. And, uh, cool. Alright, and we'll show a boss here. Just clear all this stuff around so I don't walk out and get murked by these guys. Oh, cool. <laughs> Alright, so for bosses, you simply place down your wither totems, and uh, it takes about three seconds to get full charges. Usually they're dead though. It's a pretty quick boss killer. The plan is to make it one of the fastest boss killers. I mean, with the the current chaos stacking that you can get with elemental conversion and the trickster there are some pretty ridiculous amounts of damage that can be done in the game at the moment 
might not stand up to those, but any more standard build that doesn't go to those lengths, this is gonna definitely, with the 12 more multipliers available, uh, stand up to them. So that is going to be huge. And once I get my level 21 Blight, that should work out for the best. More than 50, boy. <laughs> I didn't clear this very well. They're probably all down in the water, but I'm gonna call that good enough. You've uh, you've seen roughly what this is able to do. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back with an update once I get a six link going. Once I get some, once I get my pain attunement going, that's gonna be a really big one. Um, and I'm gonna get my frenzy charges and my ball lightning trap and all of that. I have. All of that stuff leveled on other characters, I'll just port it over here. I hope you enjoyed. This has been Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming, and I will see you next time.